Hello, I'm Katharina Stärk and I teach on the Masters in Veterinary Epidemiology and Public Health offered by Distance Learning here at the Royal Veterinary College. I'm a veterinarian by training, but since graduation I have moved on into the exciting and ever-changing area of zoonosis and public health. I would like to talk about a disease that is currently emerging called Q fever. And I would like to use it as an example to illustrate that veterinary public health is a very interdisciplinary area that I believe will uh, gain even more importance in the future. We are here on the Royal Veterinary College farm and I'm with some of our sheep who will have their lambs very shortly. Now sheep, but also cattle and goats are susceptible to Q fever. The bacteria causing Q fever can also be transmitted to humans, for example, if you inhale dust from contaminated bedding from the animals. Diseases that can be passed on from humans to animals are called zoonoses. At the moment, in the Netherlands, there is an ongoing outbreak of Q fever of unprecedented dimensions, particularly affecting goats. In the Netherlands, over the last months, several animal carers have died due to Q fever. Now, while we have seen outbreaks of Q fever before, we have never seen an outbreak of such size, persistence and public health importance. This is a new challenge for veterinary and public health services in the Netherlands and new control measures are urgently needed. In situations such as a Q fever outbreak, vets need to work closely with public health professionals in order to investigate the outbreak and to introduce control measures. Data need to be collected and analyzed in order to understand what's going on and control measures need to be introduced. In the Netherlands at the moment, they're introducing new strategies to control Q fever, including compulsory vaccination, breeding ban, but also the removal of infected animals. The effectiveness of these new control measures need to be monitored and also the economics need to be assessed. At the same time, communication will be important because goats and sheep are often kept as pets and the public will be very concerned about what's happening with the animals. But also the animal owners need to be explained why their animals have suddenly become a risk. Students enrolling in our master's course in epidemiology and veterinary public health will learn key skills essential for an investigation of outbreaks and disease control. We offer several modules on zoonotic diseases, but also on data collection and analysis and disease control. Which test needs to be used in an outbreak situation and how to interpret the results? How do we classify animals such as this into affected and non-affected and how reliable will that be? But also the uh, impact on public health from food coming from these animals needs to be considered. Can meat from these animals if they were affected or uh, milk from the goats in the Netherlands, can, can these products be consumed and can they be traded? Nowadays food systems are becoming increasingly international, but at the same time consumers expect assurance of the safety of animal derived food. Students completing our master's course will be equipped with the skills required for assessing and managing risks related to animals and animal-derived food. They will be familiar with the modern, complex food systems in an increasingly international context. Now, Q fever is only one example illustrating the close relationship between animal and public health. At the same time, zoonoses keep emerging, so professionals equipped with the skills for assessing and managing public health risks are very unlikely to run out of work soon.